Hello students. In present video, I am going to explain about third problem from final equations chapter. I am making this video for degree students. I am taking this question from Kalyani Publications. Authors Jain and Narang. In this problem, we are going to learn about manufacturing account. About manufacturing account, I made one video. So video link I am giving in the description box and in I card. First you have to watch that video. Then only we will understand this problem. Let us see the question first. Prepare manufacturing and trading account for the year ending 30th June 2016 with the following figures extracted from the books of a manufacturing concern. Raw materials. Opening balance 120,000. Closing balance 80,000 rupees. Working progress. Opening 24,000. Closing 16,000. Finished goods. Opening 86,400. Closing 64,000. Transactions during the year. Purchase of materials 4 lakh rupees. Wages 2 lakh 50,000. Stores consumed 30,000. Indirect wages 72,000. Factory rent 24,000. Depreciation on plant and machinery 40,000. Sales 11 lakh 20,000. Purchase of finished goods 10,000 rupees. This is the question. Prepare manufacturing account and trading account for the year ending 30th June 2016 with the following figures extracted from the books of a manufacturing concern. So for the purpose of preparing final accounts, firms are divided into two types, trading concerns, manufacturing concerns. Trading concerns, they buy final products. By adding some profit, they sell these goods to customers. Manufacturing concerns. They buy raw material, they manufacture goods, then they sell them to customer. They earn profit. So manufacturing concerns want to know cost of manufacturing also. Cost of production also they need. Therefore, their final accounts include manufacturing account, trading account, profit and loss account and finally balance sheet. So manufacturing account, trading account and profit and loss account. These three accounts they prepare in one table and heading is manufacturing account comma trading account off. In question firm's name is not given therefore dash. If firm's name is given that name we should write here. For the year ended 30th June 2016. So this is nominal account therefore debit side expenses and losses we should write. Credit side incomes and gains. Columns are particular amount, particular amount. First, manufacturing account we prepare, then trading account. In manufacturing account, debit side we have to show all manufacturing expenses. We have to start with raw materials. In question, raw materials opening stock is given, means opening balance. Raw material closing stock means closing balance. And purchase of materials 4 lakh rupees also given. So for raw materials, opening balance is there, purchases are there and a closing stock is there. So instead of showing opening stock, purchases, closing stock separately, we show these three under one head that is raw materials consumed. Debit side to raw materials consumed. First opening balance, 1,20,000 rupees to this add purchases 4 lakh rupees from this total subtract closing balance of raw material 80,000 rupees final amount in outer column 4 lakh 40,000 rupees next work in progress at the end we will show that finished goods finished goods details in trading account we have to show now we are preparing manufacturing account transactions during the year Purchase of materials, we have taken that. Wages, 2,50,000. This is direct wage. Direct wage means the wage which is directly linked with manufacturing of the products. So, direct wages, David said we should show. Two wages, 2,50,000 rupees. To this, direct expenses also we should add. But here, direct expenses are not given. Therefore, raw material consumed and wages. These two amounts we should add and we should write the total here. 
This amount is known as prime cost, also known as direct cost. To this, we should add indirect manufacturing expenses. Stores consumed, indirect wages, factory rent, depreciation, etc. Heading is to production overhead. Under this, stores consumed 30,000 rupees, indirect wages 72,000 rupees, factory rent 24,000 rupees, depreciation on plant and machinery 40,000 rupees. Next, sales are given, sales not here. So, finished goods are sold. In trading account, credit side, we should show that. Purchase of finished goods. This amount also in trading account, we should show. So, indirect expenses are completed. Now, finally, show the working progress details. Working progress, opening balance 24,000, closing balance 16,000. Working progress means semi-finished goods. They are not in raw material form. They are not in finished goods form. Working progress is also known as working process. And opening closing balances are given now. Debit side, from opening balance, we can subtract closing balance. Remaining working progress, we can show. Otherwise, opening working progress on debit side, closing working progress on credit side. So, any one method we can follow. To work in progress, opening balance in inner column 24,000 rupees minus closing balance 16,000 rupees. Remaining amount in outer column 8,000 rupees. So, debit side everything we have written. Now, this prime cost, indirect expenses, working progress, final balance. These amounts we should add and we should write the total here. 8,64,000 rupees. Credit said nothing is there. Therefore, same amount appears as trading account cost of production. Here also write down the same total. With this, manufacturing account is completed. Our answer is cost of production. So, this amount we should transfer to trading account. Therefore, we wrote trading account. So, remember, manufacturing account always shows a debit balance. Means, debit total should be more than credit total. Now, continuation is trading account. Here, we will continue trading account. First, what to do? In manufacturing account, our answer cost of production, we should transfer to trading account. So, credit side answer came. Debit side, we should transfer. Manufacturing account in brackets, cost of production, 8,64,000 rupees came now, write down that amount here. Finished goods opening and closing balances are there. Opening balance, David said we should write. To opening stock in brackets, finished goods, 86,400 rupees. Closing balance, credit side at the end. Next, purchase of finished goods. In trading account, debit side we should write. Two purchases. In brackets, finished goods. 10,000 rupees. Next, sales 11,20,000. Sales income no? So, in trading account, debit side expenses and losses, credit side incomes and gains we should show. Sales credit side by sales 11,20,000. Finally, finished goods closing balance credit side by closing stock in brackets finished goods 64,000 rupees. All amounts were taken in trading account. Finally, we have to ascertain the gross profit or gross loss. In rough notes, find out the totals of two columns. Credit side total 11,84,000 rupees. Debit column total 9,60,400 rupees. Difference 2,23,600. Debit side total is less. So debit side we should write this answer. Credit side we wrote income, sales. Debit side expenses. So income total is more than expenditure total. Therefore this answer is profit. For that we have to write 2 gross profit. Finally, write down the totals on two sides. Highest total. 
11 lakh 84,000 rupees. So when we do full fledged problem, continuation is profit and loss account, then balance sheet. But in present problem, he is asking only manufacturing account and trading account now. So we'll stop here. So this is the end of present video. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.